63% of youth suicides, yeah, are from single mother homes. 90% of homelessness and runaway children are from single mother homes. You can't homes. put that on the mother. 85% mm -hmm. of no. children who show behavioral disorders are from single mother homes. 80% of rapists with anger problems are from single mother homes. 71% of high, high school dropouts are from single mother homes. 70% of youths in operated institutions are from single mother homes. 80% of all the youths that are in prison are from single mother homes. Imagine rescuing a mother and her children from a life of grinding poverty, only to be shown no appreciation or gratitude for your efforts, to be disrespected, to be told that you need to do more to take care of children who aren't your own and then to be abandoned with no return on your investment. How many of the men who are watching this have been in a situation comparable to this one before? Or do they know a man who has? I am aware that I have, which is why I would never recommend becoming a step dummy to any other man who is interested in having a future for himself. This is just my opinion, but any man with this RP knowledge who gives up his light for another man's seed just to get a piece of peace lead is a complete moron, and you deserve everything that comes your way. There is too much evidence and examples out here on these streets to prove that helping single mothers is a fruitless endeavor that yields Dan near zero benefits. And the worst part is that 99% of men would not raise a stranger's children if he was not getting any wet vice grip. I mean, how sad is it that you'll flush your financial future down the toilet when so many single women would love to have children and every day a childless single woman in your country turns 18? And you're telling me that you overlook all of those women who just went through single mom hell or went through the motions of being a single mom in the first place, because of shame or some other reason. I'm just being honest with you. I'm disappointed in a lot of you guys who let society and other people's opinions dictate the course of your life, just so you don't look like a bum, a creepy old man, or a metaphile that needs to stop. How am I supposed to take? You'll seriously, when this is the goofy ash thing, I see you guys pulling off just to bust a nut. It's pathetic. My mother is accused of telling her grandson to marry a single mother and help raise her children. Should I repeat? My mother is accused of telling her grandson to marry a single mother and help raise her children. This woman wants me to sacrifice my life and future to save someone who made poor decisions and ruined theirs. I'm curious, how many Jeff Bezoses and Elon Musks would save Strange's cat? If the wealthy aren't doing it, why would a broke ninja watching this video start caring for a single mom and her kids? Not logical. What possessed you to do something so stupid? The worst part? Broke guys and brothers always do this. I've never heard a successful white man say this. What made you do something so stupid? I can't stand you. You need to realize we're not a charity or cult where we sacrifice ourselves so others can prosper. My message is clear. I won't support you if you watch this video. I can't stand you. You need to realize we're not a charity or cult or we make sacrifices. Let a fool save single mothers and their children. You can beat that wet vice grip and treat her well, but you shouldn't date her. I'm not saying you shouldn't smash them or treat them well. After all, they are human beings just like you and me. What I am saying is that if you choose to commit and take care of a woman and her family, then I have no respect for you as a man who has taken this RP seriously. I don't care what your reasoning is, once you leave the Norse world, there is no way you should be making mistakes like that. To make matters worse, some of you guys knock up a single mom and get put on child support. You marry her and adopt the kid. Then she divorces you and puts you on child support for kids that aren't even yours. And some of you fight the mother in court to get partial custody of another man's seed. How the hell can I take you guys seriously when this is happening? At this particular juncture I have to admit that I have lost all hope and all humanity. I believe that the earth is overdue for an impact from an asteroid. But you guys have chosen to put yourselves in this position, so whose fault is it? Should we blame the dummies who are choosing to be willing participants in Step Dummies, or should we blame the careless 304s that are letting dudes bust up in a wet vice grip? I will let you decide who is right. Having said all of that, I feel as though I've driven the point home, so let's move on to these single mothers. The fact that most single mothers are in desperate situations should be the first thing you take away from this. It's very expensive to raise a kid today, let alone by yourself, even if you make a decent salary. As you know, apparently there's a gender pay gap, which doesn't exist, and women are always in need of money because according to them, they're not paid enough. That alone tells you that most of them are strutting their stuff. I know the media wants you to think that women are out here making it and that men are the ones falling behind economically. However, 
If they are complaining that they are not paid enough so when you meet a woman with a kin or multiple kids by different baby daddies, chances are she is surviving off of government aid and child support from the men she won't allow to see their kids, so when you meet her she's desperate to get any man with a good financial situation to come and help her out of her situation. And remember what I've said in previous videos about how desperate people are dangerous so it's highly likely that she will try to take advantage. Like a parasite, until you have nothing left to give, at that point, she'll either leave you if you didn't commit or put seed in her belly. However, if you were stupid enough to put a baby in her tummy and a ring on her finger, then she's got you by the balls. She'll have guaranteed child support and guaranteed half of what you own in guaranteed alimony. Just because you wanted to play step dummy, therefore, you must be careful when messing with single mothers. No, I won't, but do you want to take the risk of finding out whether or not she'll use you to better her and her kids' lives? Apparently, a lot of you do, so I know I won't be next on the agenda. Single moms will not prioritize you or let you discipline their kids. If you guys want one of the least satisfying jobs on the planet with zero benefits and compensation, then look no further than becoming a step dummy. For you over no, but do you want to take the risk of finding out? She'll think she knows love if she hasn't had a child. She won't find love until she has a child who loves her unconditionally, depends on her for survival, doesn't judge her for her peace sleeve mileage, and whom she can nurture and teach. As a man, you can't compete with that no matter what you do. So some mothers put their own needs above their children's. Where do you fall, Mr. Step Dummy, if the child's biological father is a number one or two? Have you ever considered this before saving women? I've seen enough careless mothers to know for sure. At best, you're in the top 10 on the priority list. At worst, you're at the bottom of that list. With that being said, I don't know about you guys, but why on earth would I want to be dead last on a woman's priority list? I mean, is it where you guys really want to be after all of the sacrifices that you've made? I know I will never put myself in that position. Based on what I've seen of the kids, the woman's pet family, and the boss's religious baby, I'm not going to put up with being treated as less than when I have the option to just be by myself and put myself at the top of my priority list. Also, how many times have you heard the kid of the single mom you were messing with or hear that kid tell this step dummy that he's not his daddy seriously how many of you have listened to that BS after all the sacrificing you've done on to put food in that ungrateful kid's belly, then when they do something stupid that warrants punishment the mother swoops in with her cape and tells you that you do not have the authority to discipline her kid because you are. The gents will be living the free agent lifestyle single and childless for the foreseeable future until they baby trap your boy. But hey gents, you guys can go save the community, but not me. As long as they baby trap your boy, the gents will be living the free agent lifestyle, single and childless. Go rescue a woman and her children, one step at a time and flush your finances down the drain, and I'll be living the good life in peace, quiet and freedom. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button. If you enjoyed the story and the lesson it attempted to teach you, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section below that you have done so.